Walking through History Park in San Jose, everything you see looks old. The houses, barns, and shops are replicas or restorations of original San Jose landmarks transplanted to the park to give visitors a sense of what the town was like in the late 1800s. The latest transplant looks young, but in fact it might be the oldest thing in the entire park. It's a clone of the San Jose Sentinel a towering sycamore that for nearly 200 years notified visitors that they had, indeed, found their way to San Jose. Uh, in the 1840s, pre-gold rush, uh, when California was not very heavily populated, people were coming over on wagon trains and the like. And I can imagine, because I've, you know, I've driven down the Snow Grade, and you can see this massive view of the bay and the South Bay. I can imagine being 20 miles away and seeing a massive tree <laughs> uh, and, and being able to say, there's where San Jose is. By 2000, the Sentinel had grown so large that it was a hazard to the houses underneath it. The Northside Neighborhood Association tried to save the tree, but arborists found it was hollowed out by disease and had to come down. Neighbors gathered to say goodbye, and local gardeners cut off a few branches in hopes of keeping the history alive. In January, they dug a hole in the corner of History Park and planted one of the only cuttings that had survived. History Park seemed an appropriate place to plant the sapling, for many reasons. The good thing about this site, since we're um, basically out in the open and have plenty of uh, room and plenty of sun that will be uh, shining on the tree, it will have the ideal conditions that a western sycamore uh, would like to have in terms of its sunlight. Right now, it looks like a glorified twig, but already leaves are beginning to bud. You know, in, in 20 years, it will be, uh, you know, 30 to 40 feet tall or so. And in 100 years, if all goes well, it will rival its 300-year-old, 100-foot-tall forebear. I'm Jessica Parks, reporting for the Peninsula Press, a project of the Stanford Graduate Program in Journalism.